Welcome back, conspirators. Uh, this is the Elegant Villain, and welcome to Resident Evil Zero. So I, I debated for a long time if I wanted to just continue on with the next one in the series. Um, if I wanted to do Resident Evil 6 or Resident Evil Revelations, or then I'm like, no, man, we, we forgot all about Zero. Like, I didn't even know this game even existed until a couple months ago. So we, we got to go back, and let's just start at zero because we haven't played this one yet um, before we get way too ahead of ourselves here. Uh, let's just see. Let's get the brightness. It looks all good. Controls. Okay. Display wide or original. Let's just try the recommended for now, I guess. Audio. It's all good. All right. So, yeah, if you haven't um, viewed my other Resident Evil playthroughs, I've played through Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, Code Veronica. Um, I just did 5 uh, last month. Uh, so if you like any of those games, uh, be sure to look at them on my channel. It's under the uh, playlist option. Uh, easy, normal, hard. Let's just go with normal. Um, Resident Evil Zero. I love when they do that. Subtitles. Yeah, let's keep those on. Here we go. A Midwestern town in America. Raccoon City. A solitary island far off in the sea. Rockford Island. An island that would become the second raccoon city, Sheena Island. There are still many unanswered questions about these seemingly unrelated yet intensely traumatic events. Though it is believed that the International Enterprise Umbrella was somehow involved, little is known as to the origin of this faceless corporation. When was it established? By whom? <laughs> And how was the T-Virus created? To uncover the truth, we must delve deeper into the events which transpired in the beginning, before the mansion incident. Okay, so yeah, this takes place before Resident Evil 1, uh, before the whole mansion incident. Do you think so too? And this one uh, stars Rebecca Chambers, which um, she was kind of the all-star in uh, Chris's playthrough in Resident Evil 1, man. She saved him a couple times. Yeah, this guy right here was in the trailer. I have no idea who the hell this guy is. It's like some leeches or something. Yeah, I have no idea who that is, man. There's the RPD. wonder if this is a uh, Bravo team right here. It began as a simple investigation of some bizarre murders in the suburbs of Raccoon City. Nothing in our training could ever have prepared us for the nightmare that ensued. We never stood a chance. Uh, so the leeches were there too. Court order for transportation. Prisoner 
Billy Cullen, ex-lieutenant, 26 years old, court-martialed and sentenced to death July 22nd. Prisoners to be transferred to the Regathon base for execution. Those poor soldiers. They were good men just doing their jobs, and that scum murdered them and escaped. All right, everyone, let's separate and survey the area. Our friend is brutal and ruthless. Keep your guard up. Yeah, so Rebecca Chambers, she's like the team medic, man. You don't tell me I gotta fight dogs already. The door to safety is shut. There is no turning back. Oh, wow, man, this is really cool. This is uh, quite an upgrade from when we first played the uh, original Resident Evil 1, isn't it, guys? Like, goddamn. Uh, let me see here. I'll say, so I can... Like, was square to bring up inventory? Square is to bring up inventory. Mixing set. Oh, she's got a mixing set. That's pretty cool. I like, reorganize on how to do everything here. Let's see. So, R1. Okay, that's all the same. What was L2? L2 is the map? Interesting. I think that's what it was anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah, L2 is map. Okay. How do I run? Or is it just like... That's her running. I don't know. <laughs> This is like the, the thing of, uh, it's always trying to figure out the controls for the first minute or two in these games. Luggage lies strung about the cabin. The seats are stained red with blood. I don't know if I can go back this way. It's the restaurant car. Yeah, let me search this whole car first. Looks like there might be some documents right here. Nope, luggage. Nope. Nope, nothing I can pick up. So that's interesting. We start on a train. We haven't done that yet in any Resident Evil game we've played. This is Officer Chambers from Stars Bravo Team. Please identify yourself. Is someone there? Yeah, just a couple zombies, Rebecca. Well, of course, you wouldn't have known about this yet, because this is before the mansion. So this is all new to her. Are you kidding? Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, let me run to the back here. I can't see. Jesus, they start you right off the bat here, man. I got no knife either. I gotta make every one of these bullets count. The kill them all? Okay. What just happened? I, I thought they were dead. <laughs> they are now. I'm trying to figure out if it's easier to. Oh god! I keep wanting to press square to run, man. I'm at caution already, guys. Like, are you kidding? Okay, so yeah, it's like I'm trying to figure out if I want to use joystick to run or the arrow keys. I actually feel like I'm going to use the arrow keys because then I can press circle to run. I don't know. What is that? The Eclipse Express? Is that what that says? The, what that say? The rain outside is quickly turning into a downpour. Yeah. Okay. 
So this is, again, this is so cool. Like, the, like, Capcom, they've really outdone themselves, you know, because it's like, they've taken, I guess I'm handgun ammo, they've taken, like, a concept of just a mansion, and they've just expanded it, you know, into a train car now. Passenger's Diary, July 14th. Orders came from the boss today. Uh, looks like we're in charge of investigating the remains of the Arkley Mountains Laboratory. We're moving in two groups. The initial group is assigned to start checking what's left of the abandoned experiment. July 16th. Unfortunately, the test production of BOW type Y139 had to be suspended because of this investigation. It's the same with the type Y139. Uh, there's still so much we don't know about responses to the crustacean t-virus there's a lot of interesting research left uh, depending on the species and nurturing conditions only minute doses of tea bring about remarkable changes in solidity size uh, multiplication of internal toxins and brain development if these efforts or if these effects can be controlled a powerful weapon could be produced but the sudden development of shell results in a corresponding fragility uh, certain areas become exceedingly weak uh, problematically, one of these areas is the head carapace. Uh, this lab, we are going to... Were they pursuing the same research? It would certainly help to find data and samples that would help us in our research. June 19th. Uh, the day is finally approaching. I am growing more anxious. The Raccoon City newspapers and TV stations are full of reports about the bizarre murders in the suburbs. It can't be the virus, can it? If it is... No, I can't think of that now. I have to concentrate on this investigation and make sure it goes smoothly. All right, well, you gonna come to life, my guy? His body is covered in slime. So it seems like with every one of these Resident Evil games, it's like a new, um, like a new animal or insect gets the virus in it. In this case, it looks like it's gonna be leeches this time. Leeches and zombies, what a combo. All right, so we search there. Let me see what's in this one. I like how she, like, tiptoes, man. Is this a save room? Sure is. Oh, is that ink ribbon? I can see it. Got him. Oh, there's a herb right there. I need that. You would think if she's the medic that she would already come equipped with, you know, a couple first aid sprays. Uh, investigation orders, stained with blood. Some sections are well eligible. Um, eight miles north of Raccoon City in the Arkley Mountains lies our company's management training facility. It was shut down years ago. Uh, now we are conducting a pr preliminary study into the reopening of the facilities. First investigation unit is already on site and opening the investigation. I want your team to provide support. The following orders are William Birkin and one investigation of unit. Uh, it's hard to make out. Half the letters are missing. The rest of the torn, rest is torn and unreadable. Yeah. So I wonder if they're going to give like a, maybe a backstory about Birkin and like uh, Wesker in this one. I saw Wesker's picture in the trailer. All right, let's see what our inventory looks like here. Um, green herb, uh, gotta use it, so I gotta find. Let's combine, I don't think I can auto reload, which kind of sucks, man. So used to the newer Resident Evils, you just hold down X and it just auto reloads for you. Not in this one. I don't know, let's just continue on. Break down this hallway. It's like this train car can only be so big, right? It's locked and can't be opened. The door reads conductor's office. Okay. Oh yeah, you know that guy's coming to life. Is this a card key reader? You have the right card. Okay, I wonder if that's the card there. Brutally torn apart. He's holding something. Oh, I could I did that too fast. I don't even know what key that was. Oh, there's Billy. Billy. Uh, Lieutenant Cohen. 
So, you seem to know me. Been fantasizing about me, have you? <laughs> Rebecca just lets him go. Edward, are you all right? What happened? Worse than we can't. You must be careful, Rebecca. The forest is full of zombies, monsters. Are you kidding me? Is that a dog? Oh my god, man. God damn it. I can't see. Are you kidding? That's so... Oh my god, man. I ain't moving. It's gonna come to me. Okay, Jesus Christ, man. A few hours ago, he's holding something. All right, cam gun ammo, I'll take it. It's just like, how high are those windows up on a normal train car, man? How'd you guys jump up through there, man? Like, are you kidding? Oh, Jesus, I got it. I'm at, like, orange caution now. Like, are you kidding me? What is this train key? Let's see if it has, like, a tag number on it. What's that say? Oh, that's the dining car. Okay, now we can go all the way back to where we, uh, to where we started. Jesus, man, I need some freaking health. We're starting this game off pretty rough, man. Jesus, I didn't see that guy standing there. Rebecca, he's right in front of you. Okay, Jesus, man. Yep, there's another one. Actually, I want to see if she'll auto-reload. Okay, she will. All right. Guy, it's so weird playing this, man. It's like the, the gunshots and the movement is so much slower than like the updated games like number four and five like damn this is like so hard to get used to um could go upstairs too i didn't see that uh let's just keep just keep it on the first floor for now i think Oh, Enrico. I remember him from number one. Enrico! Hello! Can you read me? Please respond. Well, that's kind of weird, though, because we just bumped into him and he didn't kill us, and he could have. So, I don't know. That's kind of weird. Um, see, I just don't know. It's like, I kind of feel like I'm missing stuff here already. It's like, are there items hiding in these little booths? I have no idea, man. I'm just clicking away. 
Okay, so that's the, yeah, where I can use the key. You don't need this anymore, throw it away, sure. Are you kidding? I think there's another zombie coming to life in that car. Also, we're at another set of stairs, okay. Wait, what? Oh, there he is again. It's gonna be dangerous from here on in. Why don't we cooperate? Cooperate with you? Listen, little girl, if you haven't <laughs> noticed, there's some pretty freaked out things on this train. And I, for one, want to get out of here. I don't think we stand a chance doing it alone. You expect me to trust you, a wanted felon? I don't need your help. I can handle this on my own. And don't call me little girl. <laughs> yeah, you tell him, Rebecca. Do it yourself. What should I call you? The name is Rebecca Chambers, but that's Officer Chambers to you. Well then, Rebecca, why don't you go and try while I wait here? There's a document there. Um, yeah, let me read this document first. Uh, notice to supervisors, when closing the dining car, supervisors are asked to switch off the automatic doors after ensuring all staff have vacated the car. Uh, the main automatic door power switch is located on the roof of the fifth car. Inspections will take place when the train is uh, garaged. That's Why would they put a switch on top of the roof? After inspections are complete, use the ladder to the rear of the second floor of the dining car. Umbrella court maintenance department. Okay. Uh, I'm just still going to stick to the first floor for right now. Uh, looks like an automatic door. There's no power. So, okay, I'm there. Mind. I got to go upstairs. <sighs> oh, they brought this back. This is cool. Is there a fire going on in this car? Who the hell is this guy? Just chilling. Um, excuse me, sir. Sir. <gasps> Jesus Christ. That's uh, a leech man. Dude, I can't fight this way and now, man. I got no health. Are you kidding? There's no way, dude. I was like, one more hit. I think I'm dead in one more hit, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, Billy seems pretty chill to me. Look at this guy. <laughs> okay, buddy. Where are they all going? No? You got any herbs? Why does that sound like, um, freaking Alfred Ashford, man? Oh, the leeches are all going to him. Like, I can't even tell what that is or who, who that is. Oh, did it like just start going Listen, again? We gotta cooperate with each other from now on. You got that? Well, I don't... Clue in, girl. Or maybe you like being warm bait. <laughs> All right. But you just remember, I will shoot you if you try anything funny. Fine. Now take these with you. If you find anything, give me a call. All right? Plot 
Player's Manual 2 character switching. What? You can switch control between the two lead characters, Rebecca and Billy, and use their different abilities to progress through the game? Oh, wow, interesting. Uh, the character you currently control is called the main character. The character you do not control is called the partner character. Controlling the partner character. The partner character generally moves independently, but you can use the R analog stick to control them yourself. Selecting partner on your status screen allows you to assign instructions to the character. Solo, both characters move independently. Team, partner follows the main character. Attack, partner attacks automatically. Idle, partner will not attack. Uh, you can also press um, to switch between solo and team behavior. Switching characters, press triangle at the status screen to switch characters. Uh, you will need to switch characters in order to progress in certain situations. Exchanging items. When your partner character is nearby, you can exchange items on the status screen. Uh, choose the item from the main character's item box and select exchange. Character attributes Rebecca. Rebecca has the following attributes. Can combine herb-related items. Weak defense. Can use a mixing set to combine chemicals. Uh, Billy's attributes cannot combine herb-related items, strong offense, and can push many large objects. Okay. If the partner character is attacked, both the main and partner characters will die if they take too much damage. You should always keep an eye on their condition. Um, a partner being attacked in a different room will call for help over the radio. If your partner does call, go to help as quickly as possible. Cooperating with your partner, some puzzles cannot be solved by one character. When you are stuck, try to see... If using your partner will help. Oh damn, man! This this brings a whole new uh, whole new aspect to the Resident Evil game here, man. Um, I want to finish searching in here. There's a ladder here. It seems to lead up to the roof. Uh, now I don't want to go up there yet. I want to like. I'll go. And do you have anything, Billy? You got like a first aid spray or anything? How do I... Can exchange, change, team. So Billy's got a knife and a handgun and a lighter. Okay. Right, this is going to take some uh, getting used to here. It's covered in slime. God, I can't believe there's, like, no health in here. I wonder if I can go... Let me see what's behind this door. Ah, oh, it's locked. I guess we got no choice but to continue going forward. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any health in here, man. Oh, so I can quickly change like that. Okay. So I'm just trying to see if he's going to come with me or... Yeah, let's just climb the ladder, I guess. We have to. I don't know where else to go. we got to turn the power on. Oh, good. He's coming with me. All right. That makes me feel better. Jesus Christ. go inspect this here. The power cable has been disconnected. Uh, reconnect the cable. Yes. Oh, great. Okay, there's an herb. Thank God. Handgun bullets. Get that herb. I kind of don't want to use it yet. Call the service lift. What? Oh, so it looks like I can transfer items. Place an item here. I, I don't know what to put there yet. Um, hmm. What else we got in here? What is this? 
take the train key. Billy, are you gonna chop down here, bud? Or do I have to do it? You can't reach it from here. What are you talking about? So this is really cool that I can swap back and forth between these guys. So like, do I have to go? I don't even know. I assume I have to go all the way back if he won't drop down. I was like, there better not be a bridge coming up, man. That knocks me off. That been, actually would have been funny. Okay. Let's see. Because there's... Is that something shimmering? No, it's just the light. It's locked from the other side. I wonder if that's the key I need. Okay, so the power was on, right? So we should be able to... Yeah, we can get back in here now. Uh, the counter is laden with various types of food. There doesn't seem to be anything of use. Um, hmm. What's this? industrial size refrigerator. I look like he ain't going to open it. There ain't nothing in here. Nope. What is this? There's an access panel here. He needs some kind of tool to open it. Okay. Is there anything in this apron? That's locked. There's really nothing in here. Let's see what's down this way. Service lift is stopped at the second floor. Call the service lift. Oh, okay. So if I switch to Rebecca, I think I could probably can't pass on that key, I bet you. Or it's wrong, but... You see what this key said? Um, conductor room. Well, that's not the, the key, then. Or is it? I don't know, man. Let me try passing at the Billy, see if he can do anything. I saw that conductor room somewhere. Where the hell was that? I think it was back where those dogs were, right? Okay, so we sent him the key. Um, I don't want to leave that room yet. That's a safe room. Like, ain't nothing going to get me in there. Let me just take this. Because, yeah, that conductor room was, like, back this way. But then again, it's like, I don't know if I should go alone or if I should take Rebecca with me. Um, crap. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, I know there was a zombie in here. Yeah. Just take care of this. Oh, damn. I don't even know how I got that headshot. I'll take it, though. See, he wouldn't aim at the head on that one, though. I don't understand. I don't know if I should go... Or no, that's locked. Okay. Okay. Probably get it if I had something sharp. Okay. All right, so Rebecca ain't going anywhere, so let's continue on with Billy here. See, I can still go upstairs. Yeah, there's more zombies in this area. Um, let me see what I got. I wonder if I have to pass Rebecca my knife.
Is that zombie going to come to life that's right next to me, man? It better not. I'm going to try and use this conductor's key. Oh, God, man, I don't like this. I don't like this. I got, like, no health. Yeah, that conductor's key... Wasn't it here... No. What the hell? Oh, that's a card reader. That's right. Crap. Was this the... I'm getting confused here, man. Where the hell was the conductor's key? Was it this one? Okay. I was like, I knew that room was somewhere over here. Please be like some first aid sprays, man. Something. Uh, well, there's a couple herbs. I'll take that. Billy can't combine herbs, though, so I'm going to have to pass these to Rebecca so she can combine. What is this? Oh, map. Okay. So there's a second floor and then a roof. Okay, gotcha. Anything else in the jacket? What the hell is this thing? There's a switch here. Flip it. Sure. I don't know what that does, but... Oh. Okay, little ladder. All right. Note from Conductor. Uh, the key card for the driver's compartment is in my bag, as always, but I need the other guy's key, too, to open the damn thing. Uh, but it looks like I've lost it somewhere. Um... If it was a normal key, someone would be sure to turn it in, but this key is different. Um, I'll look for it too, but if you happen to find it, please hand it in. Thanks in advance. Okay. So are we looking for two keys now? What's in here? Oh, take the briefcase. Okay. Is there anything else in there? No, nothing else. Okay. Is that another note? Nope. Okay. Uh, well, let's see if we can open this up. Appears to be locked. There are two holes that look as if they fit some kind of round object. What the hell? Yeah, I don't know. All right, I can't open that. I honestly, before I climb up there, I, I honestly am going to go give Rebecca that red herb. Because I don't know what she's going to run into, you know, once I get her out of that door. I think I got to pass her the knife, too. Isn't that what that said? She needs, like, something sharp? So it looks like this whole area is now clear of zombies, thank God. I was like, I was beginning to wonder if they respawned. Yeah, let's um let's go past Rebecca this herb and try and uh maybe pass her the knife and see if that gets her out of that room. That's so cool that we can swap characters like this. It's like, yeah, because Rebecca's like in the damn orange here. I gotta combine these and use 
Or I could wait until I'm in the red. Yeah, I better, probably better wait on that. Let me go check this door again. What'd that say about something sharp? There's something stuck in the keyhole. It's preventing the doorknob from turning. You could probably get it out if you had something sharp. Okay. So let me try passing her the knife. This item is too large. Okay, well, never mind. There goes that idea. All right, so I guess we're done stopping. Or, hey, we gotta go upstairs now. All right. Um, could, don't go that way, because that door was locked. Yeah, we gotta go up through the conductor's little ladder, I think. Or we could try, there's like a stairwell. Not in this one, but I think the next one that goes upstairs, too. We could try that. Just to see what's up there, you know? Yeah, wait, I haven't been this way yet. What the hell's up here? Or have I been this way? I don't even know. No, this is definitely different. I hear something. Oh, wow. They look like some kind of eggs. A puddle of slime has formed around them. Okay, so I can't even go anywhere. All right. We did get an herb, though. So we're doing good on health now. Billy's got two green herbs and Rebecca's got a full health herb. Um, I feel like, is there anything hiding down here? No. You never know, man. You gotta check everywhere. It's like I probably should have passed Billy a freaking ink ribbon so I could save. That's probably what I should have done. Too late now. Yeah, let's go up here. Yeah, I, I love playing these Resident Evil games, man. This was like the, the highlight of uh, 2023 for me is discovering the series. These games are all amazing. Anything in the register? Any money? Nah, the zombies must have cleaned them out. I joined the party. Pictures of a group having a wild party. Yeah, good times on this train. Oh, God, now what? What the hell is that? Are you kidding me? Dude, I'm not... <laughs> yeah, we're... Uh... Before we go any further here... We're, we're going to pass him an ink ribbon and save this. Jesus Christ, I don't know what the hell that thing is. That's my bad, guys. I should have did this uh, the first time. Yeah, my man, we're gonna we're gonna run back and save it really quick before we deal with whatever the hell made that noise. It's like I only got two herbs. I don't want to die now, just in case. Yeah, let me go uh, pick that up and save really quick.
So it's like, based on like everything that I've played so far with Resident Evil, it's almost like, um, and even in the, the trailer for this, like Wesker was there. So I'm assuming Wesker will pop up at some point. And also probably Spencer, the guy that did the mansion. I think he was also like the creator of the, the T-Virus too. I don't know, there was a lot that happened in number five, man, that came back to, like, the original. Yeah, let's uh, pick up this ink ribbon here. Did he pick that up? He did not pick it up. Are you kidding me? All right, hold on. Jesus Christ. I got to organize this here. <sighs> His inventory's full, so hold on. I got to take this. Rebecca, what do you got in your inventory? You got empty spaces, so I got to send send that damn briefcase to Billy. Or to Rebecca. So I'll send Rebecca the briefcase and then I'll free up an inventory spot for me. Then I can get the ink ribbon. There we go. The item is too large. Ooh. We're sending her an herb then. Take that. Oh my God, hold on. Jesus Christ, no. I gotta go back to Rebecca. God damn. that's what I'm wondering too is if Billy's got to fight whatever this monster is it's like I almost want to try and send him like the full health herb and some more bullets you know I gotta think about this I'm gonna take the ink ribbon okay what do I got in my inventory now like do I got I'm gonna keep the herb I could probably send I can't send her the briefcase I can't send her the knife because it said the knife was too big too right let me try doing the knife again. I think I said the knife was too large. Yeah, it's too large. God damn it. Um, can I send her the handgun bullets? And then I'm going to have her, like, combine... So, so she can send me the handgun bullets. I don't know what I'm doing, man. I'm trying to just think worst case scenario here. I don't know what the hell made that noise, so I'm just trying to be prepared here, you know? So now, let me see what she's got now. So she's got 65 bullets. So can I send him all 65? I mean, that's what I'm, that's what I'm hoping. Yeah, it looks like she's sending him everything. I'm going to do all this and, like, nothing's even going to happen. You watch. <laughs> like I said, I'd rather be safe than sorry, man. Okay. Are we good now? I think we're good now. Yeah, we good. All right. Let's go save, and then we'll go back up and see what the hell made that noise.
At least I'm getting to know the layout of this train really well. Okay, that save that was in one of these rooms. This room, it was not this room. That's going to be it for this one, Conspirators. Uh, this was the opening video to Resident Evil Zero. Um, when we come back, we'll, we will go back up the ladder and um, find out what the hell made that noise. Uh, but we're prepared. We got a lot of, of uh, handgun bullets. Got an herb. Should be okay. But thank you guys for watching. And as always, Conspirators, stay charming. And uh, I'll be back soon with the next one.